What's going on, everyone? Welcome, welcome to Staying Alpha. Welcome so, to Staying Alpha. So, guys, Omi has been pumping as well. We have news, right? We actually, let me change the song. We actually have good news coming along, guys, for BB. It looks like we actually have the Ghost Trap launching this next drop on Thursday, following maybe a next drop, okay? BB has said that they will be dropping two drops back to back. However, that has shown to be false, right? When previously they have announced it. So I wouldn't get my hopes too up on that one. However, though, it does seem that the ghost trap is dropping, all right? But guys, today I want to stream mostly about how the only token is actually performing, how it's doing. Should we sell when it's high or should we actually be long time hodlers? Okay, because right now Bitcoin is performing fairly well. However, guys, if Bitcoin does drop below 33K, I will say that Omi might just go down along with all the other additional altcoins. Okay, so we're going to be talking about just a little bit about Bitcoin, news about Bitcoin, but mostly, of course, the Omi token. All right, because we saw Omi go all the way passing a penny, right? Uh, basically, it got to a penny and a quarter uh, of four, but then it suddenly dropped. And of course, with the bear market, it even dropped some more. So if you would have sold at the all time high, right? And buy again at the low, of course you would have ended up winning. And we see this happening in the cryptocurrency market all the time. Like Dogecoin, Dogecoin went up to 74 cents. We could have sold Dogecoin at 74 cents and buy low again at the 20 cent mark, right? So it is a risky play. I do see Omi having a retracement because guess what? When you look at CoinGecko and you see what coin is pushing right now the hardest, the last couple of days, it has been the Omi token. So what are day traders doing? What are new investors doing? They are looking, right? So it's not just us celebrating Omi, but also a lot of day traders right now looking to make some cash, right? So guys, we're going to be talking about that. Either way, guys, also on my Twitter, if you are not following my Twitter yet, what are you doing, bro? Because I am always giving away nfts okay so if you haven't checked my last twitter post guys it's about to be too late because i'm going to stop taking names in probably about two more minutes okay so if you actually see my twitter post guys let me go up on this because i already have a spinning wheel bb giveaway bb ghost trap next drop only live pump live at 6 p.m retweet and comment below tagging a friend for a chance to win one rare delorean one marty hoverboard and one rising sun hoverboard. All right. I'm probably going to go ahead and shut this down in about two more minutes because I am no longer going to be taking names. And I already have also my winner circle. All right. The wheel of names. So I do have that out already, guys. And I don't know. I might just give away another NFT for the head of it. Right. We'll see as the stream goes on. But guys, shout out to the VV family. Shout out to everyone out there that has joined the OMC club. Um, I always have said, right, go for 1.3 million Omi tokens, because guess what? If Omi does reach the dollar, all right, the next year, the next week, 2025, guess what happens? Taxes come. Uncle Sam is coming for you, right? So for you to walk out with a million dollars clean, you want to at least try to get 1.3 million dollars. I'm sorry, 1.3 Omi tokens, all right, at the dollar rate, so you can walk out with a million dollars. So guys, welcome, welcome to the live stream. I see Bruce is in the house, Swefin, Rafa, Geomite. What is going on, everyone? And over here in South Florida, right? It's okay. It has been raining every single day. And I did try to stream the other day about Baby Doge. However, that did not happen. Okay. And, I, and because of that, probably some of you guys lost some gains because it was just a shit token that was rising. But rain shine or whatever it is guys i will be streaming today and tomorrow as you see hurricane warning for tampa bay okay so we do have that um i am down south in the miami area so it's not really affecting me however i'm just getting a lot a lot of rain from morning to nighttime all right but it's okay i am here with you guys so very exciting news cryptocurrency market finally going back up k4 rim bruce is in the building uh, what's going on? ADA doing some great things as well. Smash that like button. Appreciate that. And hit the subscribe button as well, guys. And fun under the sun. You get the Einstein comments. <laughs>
Okay, guys, so the next thing that I want to show you is Hello K and this other YouTuber. I'm, I have no idea who he is. I think it's FX Trader or something like that. Let me um, let me actually show up, show up his page. All right, I don't have a problem with that. I don't know the dude, but um, where is it at? Where is his page at? W Champ FX Trading. I do not know if he has ever talked about Omi before or BB. I've never heard of him, but he did drop a video with two other YouTubers that I actually know, which is Hello K and Tap Trader. Okay. And they are actually announcing that Ghost Trap will be coming out. And I believe it's Hello K or Tap Traders that they're actually playing in as uh, BB ambassadors. So either way, these are two video clips from that video. Okay, so that is one of them, right? And there is one more that I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. Because this Ghost Trap NFT, guys, this digital collectible is going to be huge, all right? Why? We're going to talk about the edition numbers now in a little bit, but it's going to be big because it is the first NFT that is animated and that actually has sound, all right? That's what takes it apart from the other collectibles. Not that it's animated, but it's animated, of course, but it has sound. So it's the first one to be animated and with sound. Here goes the second clip. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, so I imagine now that people... Know this. That's so sick. I was literally gonna say everyone's gonna start buying slimers and uh stay puffs and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally on the app right now. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. You hear that top trader saying I'm literally on the app right now. It is not for sales of yet, but I do think that it will be on the next drop. Okay, so I'm going to play that for you just one more time. All right, so you can actually experience how cool this new digital collectible actually is. Yeah, this is really cool. Um, so I imagine now that people... <laughs> That's so sick. I was literally gonna say everyone's gonna start buying slimers and uh stay puffs and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally on the app right now. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. That is a pretty cool digital collectible. So it should be dropping this Thursday, okay? As long with another NFT. If BB holds up to be dropping two NFTs, okay, um this week, and let's see. I, you know, if they actually are able to keep up that pace. Now, I'm going to open up my BV phone, guys. I can't mirror it to you guys right now. But as you see, right, this is the ghost trap. All right. And the ghost trap right now is actually going for $89.99. And it has a total of $1,750. So it's pretty low when it comes to edition numbers. Okay. And it is an ultra rare. But keep this in mind. It is a season one digital collectible. So that makes the price go up even more. So just understand that one is the anticipation, right? We have been waiting for the ghost trap to come out now for several months. Second, it is from season one. And third, it is the first digital collectible that is actually animated and with sound. So how cool is that? And you guys already know that the fandom for Ghostbuster is pretty big. Look right now what we're seeing with the Marty boards, the Marty board right? Was just selling for how much was it? Was it $12, $13? I actually bought three of them. Now you actually can see them in the marketplace for $70, $80, right? Because it is the first um, hoverboard from Mattel that shows up on BB. And at the same time, guys, it is the Marty McFly hoverboard, the OG hoverboard. That's why it's actually going for so much. All right. Um, I'm going to be giving out, guys, the first nft so i'm trying to make sure that i have the following names in the winner circle okay i don't want to be putting names guys throughout the whole entire stream or at the end of the stream i'm just putting in names right for the hour that just takes too long so i'm going to be giving out guys the very first nft 
And let me make sure that I have a couple of people on here. I think I have Jazzville. I see Jazzville just put something on here. Okay, I do have Jazzville on there. Fizz the Collector. Robin Lee. Robin Lee. Do I have a Robin Lee on the winner's list? Okay, I do have Robin Lee. I have K4 Rim. He was one of the last ones. And I think I'm going to roll with those. Okay, I think I don't have him. Kobe Wilbon. Oh, I actually got a few more. Kobe Will. Okay, I got two more people. Kobe Wilbon. And last but not least, Fat, Fat Man Live. There you go. So, hopefully I don't have two people. Okay, I actually have Swefin on here two times. Let me remove Swefin out of here. G. Okay, I'm pretty much... Okay, I got Alex on here two times. Making sure I don't got many people on here twice. Okay. I think that's it. And if I have your name on here twice, then pretty much you're lucky. Okay. Now, I will be adding more names, guys, as the stream keeps on going. But I didn't want to be typing all day long <laughs> just to give out these NFTs. So actually, let me go back to my tweet, right? Because which were the ones that I was giving away? I don't even remember anymore. Okay, one rare DeLorean, one Marty hoverboard, and one Rising Sun hoverboard. So let me shuffle this. The first one that I'm going to give, guys, is going to be a rare DeLorean, all right? I'm going to give that one away first. So let me shuffle it a few times, and let's go ahead and spin the wheel. Such a scammer. How is this a scammer when it is my own NFTs? Makes no sense. So Christian Ross, bro, welcome to the stream. And you know what, man? You do get the very first donkey of the day, baby. You earned it. All right, guys, there it goes. So this is for the rare DeLorean. And let's go ahead and click the, the wheel. <laughs> oh, man. Rob G? No, it missed Rob G. So I actually got Kalir Russell Griffin. Good stuff. So Kalir, you're going to be getting the rare DeLorean. You have to go ahead and send me a message. Let me try to find you on the comment about Twitter. There you go. So here goes Kalir. Let me put Kalir. So guys, the rare DeLorean, I did go ahead and give it away. And I actually have more rare DeLoreans. But I don't think I'm going to give any of those away today. I will give other things away. But there it goes, Clear, guys. Clear. I'm sorry. I'm saying Clear. Clear Russell Griffin. Go ahead and send me a message on Twitter. Okay, guys. So we have the Ghost Trap launching. That is actually pretty cool. Now, um, I want to talk about the Omi token. But first, let's take this to CoinGecko. I really want to go to CoinGecko first and, and let's see how the market is doing before I talk about the actual OMI token. And guys, if you do not own any OMI token, you could buy OMI on BitForex. You could also get it through Uniswap, which I do not recommend. Um, or through, what's, what's the other one? I think uh, BitREx or something like that. But I recommend BitForex if you are in the United States. The reason why I do not see OMI pumping so hard is because we are not on any big exchanges. It's a hassle to get to be able to buy the OMI token right now. So since NFTs is bringing in a lot of new investors for the very first time because they love the app. However, they are not, they're ignorant towards buying cryptocurrency. Okay. So when it comes to buying the OMI token, it's kind of difficult for someone that is just new getting into cryptocurrency. All right. Don't even know what cryptocurrency really is even is so however i do see omi growing and i do see a retracement we're going to be talking about that but first let's go to coin gecko guys i want to go to coin gecko and let's see how the market is actually doing before we get in onto the token uh geo might appreciate that man like and subscribe so guys bitcoin right now is at thirty three thousand, and what i want to say is that if bitcoin goes underneath 33k cryptocurrency market is going to be in trouble again and i do see some tokens actually decreasing after that and especially if we go underneath 30k then we are going to be some serious we're going to be seeing some serious retracements uh going on in the cryptocurrency world all right but right now guys bitcoin is at 33,000. it's about to push for 34k and bitcoin right now is such a great 
um, token to have, guys, because, well, currency, really. El Salvador is actually making Bitcoin their national currency. As well, Bitcoin has the Lightning Network, where now Bitcoin no longer is going to have seven transactions per second. It's actually going to be able to make thousands of transactions per second. Okay, that is through the Lightning Network. As well, they have smart contract capability that is coming through the Lightning Network. So now when you actually buy something with Bitcoin, right, you want to go ahead and buy that Tesla with Bitcoin, it's actually instant through the Lightning Network. Many people do not know that. All right. They want to compare Dogecoin with Bitcoin and say, hey, Dogecoin is better because they do X amount of transactions per second faster than the Bitcoin. However, that is no longer the case with the Lightning Network. So Bitcoin, guys, as well, is going to be added on a lot of banks for foreign, foreign currency exchange due to that El Salvador is actually making Bitcoin their national currency. All right. So we're going to be seeing a lot of things happen with Bitcoin, and I do see Bitcoin going all the way to 100K, 200K by probably 2025. So this is a great opportunity to still get into, guys. Bitcoin, no matter what, hands down is king. When Bitcoin is down, all the other tokens are actually down, all right? So Bitcoin, guys, is something that is massive. And as we're seeing now, it is the ocean that controls all the boats that are out there. Um, The next token, guys, is Ethereum. Sitting at 2309, we're actually seeing Ethereum gain Slowly, Ethereum is going to be another monster, all right, that is going to be going up. So shout out to Ethereum, guys. I really think that Ethereum is one that you need to go ahead and invest on, all right? Have a strategy from now on, okay, when you're going to be buying crypto. Let me talk about this, guys. You need to have a strategy. You need to have a strategy when you're buying cryptocurrency. Don't just jump in with FOMO. All right, and jump in because of FUD or jump out because of FUD. Actually, have a strategy. Have money, have your crypto stored away in your cold wallets, and then have money already ready in your hot wallet. And maybe you want to come up with a strategy with I'm going to buy, you know what, 40% Ethereum, 20% Bitcoin, and then the other 40% is going to be nothing but altcoins. And maybe, I don't know, 10% NFTs if you want to add that in there, right? So maybe start separating $500 every month, $250 bi-weekly if you get if you get paid bi-weekly or whatever your budget is. And actually say, you know what? Out of these $500, 40% is going to Ethereum, 20% is going to Bitcoin, and then the other 30 and 10% is going to NFTs and my altcoins, all right? But start actually having a strategy. And something that I have noticed, guys, with cryptocurrency is that whatever comes up, does come back down we saw this happen with dogecoin guys i have supported dogecoin since day one i wish i would have sold dogecoin at 74 cents and it dropped like a damn bomb all the way to 20 cents and honestly it's a lesson learned yes it is good to be a long time hodler you know what no matter what hold all right and i'm always down for that method but when you see something rising so quick all right you have to learn that it's going to come down i love when it's gradually increasing but when you see something rise so quick, it's going to happen. It's going to go down. And that's right now what I'm seeing with Omi. I do see a retracement. However, Omi is not going as fast as Dogecoin is, right? Dogecoin was just shooting up to the damn moon. So Omi is still an interesting token right now to look at. Uh, Nightwatch is in the building. What's going on, Nightwatch? I actually saw your last video um, that you went to this haunted place, little haunted abandoned area and you actually walk into a crime scene so that was actually pretty cool man pretty scary too so shout out man tonight watching his videos man that was actually pretty cool um it's all about discipline completely agree with you soka doge okay guys so let's pull up the chart for the only token right now um bruce by the way man i appreciate your comment about the lighting and the sound man yes i've been working and upping up my game also got me a pretty cool new setup all right have to get me a setup so very glad about that man and you know what i can show you i can show you my setup real quick hopefully my cable is act up right so you gotta check out the chair first of all right the chair is my secret labs so i thought that was pretty cool They don't want to play with the camera too much. <laughs> I don't want to disconnect it, messing around. 
Oh, okay, there you go. But yes, it's actually a MacBook that I have connected um, to my keyboard, to my monitor, and I, I will get me a PC soon, but not just yet. I'm still working off my MacBook because I wanted to be able to travel and at the same time use my computer at home, right? So that's why I got me the MacBook. But I do want to get me an actual PC so I could maybe leave YouTube running 24-7, be some live charts running or something like that, right? So we'll see what's up. Um, but yes, either way, it's coming out pretty dope, and I still got more work to do on it. Okay, so yes, two drops hopefully will be coming up. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and share the live ticker now for the only token. See where I put that at. So right now we have Omi sitting at 0 0.40, gradually coming up. Okay. Let me zoom in on this. So as you see right now, guys, right with the oh, with I hate this chart. Let me try my best with it because it's not on trading view. So with Omi, we saw this massive spike, these massive reverse hammers, right? And we're kind of seeing the same thing happen right now. And I have this on the daily chart, but we saw this massive reverse hammers basically from 0 0.003 climb up all the way to a penny and one fourth. And then of course, guys, gradual decrease. And then the bear market, right, affected the only token. And now we're actually sitting at 0 0.0040. Now, the next barrier, guys, that I think we're supposed to be breaking, um, we'll be sitting at the 50 point, half a penny mark. That's going to be the next barrier, guys, that we're going to be breaking, I believe, to take off. If we do not break this barrier, I do not see Omi climbing up. Because after that, guys, is basically going to be nothing but hype, day traders and flippers actually getting into this, which we already have enough people getting into the Omi token. So once we pass the, the half penny mark, then I believe it should be very bullish. It is still very bullish from now, guys. As you see, we have, we're not seeing no type of retracements. The Marvel news happened right around right here and then actually went back down, right? Right now is something, an organic push that we're seeing. So we should be having a retracement, guys, again, because there is a lot of FOMOing right now going on to the OMI and a lot of day traders. But once we pass the 50 cent mark, I'm sorry, the half penny mark, then I do see OMI actually climbing up some more, okay? Because all of this was just nothing but FOMO and hype and day traders right around this area. And then, of course, guys, it was nothing but whales just actually dumping um, after that. The next mark I do see it will be 0 0.066. I think that's going to be a great mark to follow next. To keep seeing Omi keep on rising. All right. So these are the actual resistance that we need to start breaking. And our support right now, guys, I will still be putting our support right at the point zero zero two three mark so if it, if it does start dropping i don't see it dropping further than this right now okay i could see omi dropping rapidly quick however i do not see that happening because i know we still have a lot of diamond hands we have a lot of people that have been holding on to this investment guys for quite a while even though we have been down thousands of dollars anywhere from probably two to five six seven thousand dollars most of us have been down now we're actually seeing us again actually stabilize or act even make profits now i know some of you guys got in when it was at a penny when it was at 0 0.0083 0 0.0090 so now we're actually seeing this climb back up the best thing you were able to do was to actually average right buy when it was low to actually come at some type of average for your investment but i do see omi guys having a retracement at what point i am not sure as of yet and for that i will keep looking at bitcoin because whatever bitcoin will do then I do think the rest of the out tokens will go ahead and perform. Hope you are wearing a hat right now. Oh, you're talking about Bruce. Okay, I was confused there what was going on. Welcome to the Alpha Stream. Appreciate you, Night Watch. Life's been good to me. Hope all is well with you. Nice to see you. And nice to hear you.
Please hit the like and subscribe. How about my grayscale added 88 third largest investment? Now, the next thing, guys, I want to see is um, actually is the market cap, right, for this token. Let me see how the market cap right now is going for OMI itself. Okay. At least I got to go to CoinGecko just one more time. Okay, so again, we are at CoinGecko, guys. Omi right now is sitting at 775,000. That is pretty, pretty big. All right. I'm sorry, 775 million. So that is actually a pretty, pretty big number, guys. That is great. That is actually pretty insane. The volume, however, is pretty low. But I'll say it's a pretty low volume. But we are sitting at 775 million. And for this, let's go to CoinGecko, right? Because, of course, Bitcoin is sitting at $638 billion, which is an actual huge number. Ethereum, 270, 62. Well, that doesn't count. And then you have Binance at $49 billion. Bitcoin has hit the $1 trillion market cap before. But Omi, guys, for being such a small token, is performing fairly, fairly well. Okay, now let's do a second actual giveaway of nft please hit like and subscribe so let's bring out the spinning wheel just one more time okay so Khalir, congrats go ahead and hit me up on a twitter message okay guys i'm gonna do a second one i already gave out the rare delorean this is going to be actually for the Perla, right? Again, guys, I'm not going to be adding so many names onto Twitter because you have to follow me on Twitter. Just follow me on Twitter. I do NFT giveaways plenty of times. All right. I buy extra NFTs just to give them out on my live stream. So don't get mad. Follow me on Twitter and just pay attention to my tweets. <laughs> That's all about it. Okay. So I will be adding maybe some names not all the names because if not i'm going to be taking up a long time just on here adding names one by one so let me look at my profile and let me see what it is that i have going on okay so i think i got one here for 60 minutes gerhard daughters right i'm gonna add, okay follow you swap he's gonna be one that i add Follow you swap. I did ask you white rabbit. I already have white rabbit. I have Aaron. Um, what is this? Solemn. Solemnly swear. Okay. Solemnly swear. Isolated genius. I don't have you yet. Isolated genius. Let's see who else I can add. I got Alex, Hank Dank, Jazz Vile. I already have Jazz Vile, I believe. Um, Ma. X Mox AKS. Oh, I don't know this person. E six M nine four U L zero H. I think he just made a Twitter just for now, so appreciate that. <laughs> uh, let me see. Listen, okay, Nicholas HC. I think I have Nicholas HC on here already. Yes, I do. Doctor Strange, what have you on here? Doctor Strange. I don't have Doctor Strange on me. We'll add Doctor Strange. Okay. Isolated Genius. I already put you in on here. Jack. I don't think I have Jack on here. I'll add Jack. Let's see. Do I have Jack on here? Nope. I don't see a Jack. Okay. Oh, I got more. Show additional replies. Okay, that's pretty much it, guys. I'm going to be spinning the wheel. This is going to be for the Perla. I'm going to do the Mac Fly last. Okay, this is going to be for the Perla. I have no idea how much the Perla is going for. Is it the Perla that I put on here? I even forgot what I put on. Oh, no, it's actually the Rising Sun. I didn't put the Perla on here. This is going to be for the Rising Sun hoverboard. I'm doing the Marty hoverboard last. So this is for the Rising Sun. All right, I'm not sure how much that one's going for. I did buy it. I thought it was pretty cool. 
So guys, either way, good luck. If you already won one NFT before, you are not going to win another one. So actually, Kalea, I got to take your name out of it. There you go. That name is gone. Shuffle. I left a Twitter comment, but thank you, brother. Dr. Strange, I put you on here already, Dr. Strange. You are on there, bro. Looking like staying off of giving away an Air Force One. <laughs> nah, I've actually owned Air Force One. I'm just not a big fan, though, bro. But all right, guys, this is going to be for the Rising Sun over boy. Bro. Oh, Swiffin. Guys, go ahead and join the Discord channel. It is free, guys. It is pinned as well on here. So, Swiffin, I will be sending you the Rising Sun. I believe Swiffin, I'm not sure if he got, actually got lucky with that drop. All right? Not sure about that, but join the Discord channel. And I will be doing one Marty McFly hoverboard. These hoverboards, guys, they were selling for, what, $12, $13, and now they are up all the way to $70 a board. So the next drop, guys, we already spoke about the Omi token. The next drop is um, the Ghost Trap. And we, and if it is two drops, we're not sure what the other NFT drop will be. But let me show this video one more time on the Ghost Trap. Really cool. Um, so I imagine now that people. That's so silly. I was literally gonna say everyone's gonna start buying slimers and uh, stay puffs and. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally on the app right now. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny, guys. I've never seen Tabs Trader so excited. Usually, Tabs Trader, when you see his streams, right? He's like so chill and mellow, but he's actually very excited about his ghost trap. Pretty cool. So guys, $90, $89.99 for the ghost trap. We should be having it this Thursday. And I believe it is 1,750 editions. Again, it is the first digital collectible of its kind that actually has sound and is animated. And again, guys, the anticipation, and it is from series one. I do see a pretty good flip on that collection. Again, if you're collected, then that is one collectible that you must have. So it's pretty cool. What is going to be the secondary drop? I have no idea. Also, guys, BB did release what well, Ikomi did release a video on YouTube with an interview of Al Khan. All right. Al Khan's story on how he met David was actually pretty cool. And um, also, you know, he talks about his opinion on BB, how I believe they have six out of 10 biggest toys in the market. All right. Um, the Alcon has actually been behind them. So that is something pretty cool. And he actually puts a VV up there as well, how they're going to do pretty well. And something else, guys, that we are expecting is a VV for kids. Is Mattel going to be dropping Barbie? Who knows? Will that be the next drop? Or was Alcon actually talking about the ghost trap? I really do not think he was talking about the ghost trap. He had to be talking about something else. So I'm, re I'm pretty curious to see what tomorrow brings. Hopefully by tomorrow, we should be getting some type of news on what the drop will be for Thursday because we usually get in information released the prior day before the drop. The Alcon interview, guys, was pretty exciting, pretty nice to hear um, the backstory about him and David and, of course, the story of Alcon and how, how he came to be with BB. So it is something, guys, for you to go ahead and check out. Besides that, Alcon seems very, very um, convinced that BB will take off. BB is just sitting, guys, underneath a penny, still below half a penny. So it is not too late for you to actually go ahead and join into this investment. We're still in the early stages. I see Omi actually pushing more once we actually get onto Ethereum, on with the Layer 2 uh, company, which is Immutable X. And of course, once Ethereum and the crypto market starts to pump again, then we should see Omi start to, get, start to take off, especially with Coinbase 
and Binance. So let's see what happens. My whole thing is, guys, just um, be informed. All right. Just don't FOMO your money in into an investment. Similar floor, 136 gems. I will listen. I want it. The effing ghost trap. I want. <laughs> yes, the ghost trap actually seems pretty cool, guys. What time is it anyway? It is 6:38 right now. Now, something else, guys, that I did say on my stream is that NFT sales have actually gone down. All right, NFT sales are actually down, and they are down actually 90 percent. Let me pull up this article. Right, NFT sales are down 90 percent, but BV is not all right that's the cool thing about it that bb is actually not down 90 percent at all it's actually gaining right now especially with the token today so i want to show you guys this article right um uh, uh this doesn't have the stats the one that i wanted let me try to find the one that i actually have pulled up This is not the article that I wanted, but I will pull it up. I've said plenty of times that NFTs are a bubble, but some of the monsters will remain. And that is VD. Passing frame after big increased sales of NFTs decreased. So after reaching great popularity earlier this, earlier this year, the sales of NFTs decreased considerably this June, according to a specialized portal, non-fungible. Until May 9, the sector sale maintained a peak of $176 million. However, this Tuesday, the movement is around $8.7 million. All right. So we're seeing this drop from $176 to $8.7 million. Most of those millions, right, remaining with DB. And I did see this coming, guys. Why? Because everyone and their mom was pushing NFTs. Snoop died. Even Eminem, Michael Jordan, first time tweet post. Then, of course, you have all your other NFTs, right? Open Seas, Rarible, Crypto Punks, Crypto Kittens, Bathing Apes, whatever the hell they called, right? But guys, it was just too many. It got too overly saturated. So the only NFTs that will remain are the strong ones, of course, like Vivi. And maybe NBA Top Shots. And NBA Top Shots, they've gotten saturated so much releasing drop pack after pack that they've been going down. I remember I remember when NBA Top Shots, guys, the minimum card was $9, $7 to purchase. Now it's $2. You can actually buy an NBA card for $2 now. Maybe probably even a dollar. All right? I haven't checked that in, in months now. So, BB, though, what is it doing? BB's selling out, baby. That's what BB's doing. We are selling out collectibles. So that's why I do see BB remaining. And of course, as the year comes and the platform becomes better, especially by two, by 2025, 2030, where you could just actually pop in a goggle and interact with all your collectibles, right? In your room, in the streets, in the outside with your friends, in the VV verse, then of course, VV will actually take off even more. So guys, VV is still in the early stages and it is a monster in the NFT. And it has proven that it is here to stay. So great stuff Welcome for these. Welcome to Staying Alpha. Okay. So what is going on? Daniel D, bro, is in the building. Alpha, my guy, what's going on? Nightwatch, did someone say ghost? <laughs> Slime Floor, 136 gems. By the way, guys, the Slime Floor has been performing very well. Marty as well, 70 gems. Superman as well has a new floor. So many of these NFTs, guys, having a new floor floor um let's see what happens either way guys we have been on the stream now probably for about 30 minutes now and i'm going to be doing the very last giveaway of the marty mcfly and i'll be catching you guys on the next drop so we'll find out tomorrow if it's one drop or if it's two drops. so let's go ahead and shuffle this let me see my twitter i might have maybe one or one more name i don't want to be adding too many people anymore that's why you have to follow me on Twitter. So let's take this to Twitter. Go to the notifications. Okay. So I'll be adding just a couple of more people on here. Thank you. 
So go go Tid, right? That's your name? Go go Tid. I'll be adding you to the drop. And Mecca 719. I'll be adding you to the drop. Soka Doge. I gotta add my Doge buddy in there, man. Soka Doge, what do you think about baby Doge? I wanna hear your thoughts. Okay, I already added Isolated Genius. Solemn Swear, I already added you. Oh, Fantasy Kingpins is the last person I'm gonna go ahead and, and add right now. Fantasy Kingpins, there you go, bro. Okay, I think that pretty much sums it up for now. What's going on, Junior Sanchez? What's up, bro? DB selling out in seconds every single drop. Yes, it has been. Just sent you some fun to give away. Bruce Lawrence, bro. I will be giving it out on the next drop for sure. I'm not sure what Bruce Lawrence sent me. That you sent me something. I'm trying to see what you sent me. I think my VV app is tripping. Yanka, you got me. You don't got to worry about it. You got friends. You got me. Okay. <laughs> so, not sure what Bruce sent me. Bruce, what did he send me? I'll give it away on the next drop. And I have no idea what you sent me, Bruce. Okay. But Bruce sent me something. I have no idea what he sent me. Um, I can't see the notification. Okay, guys. So, this is going to be for the Marty McFly. Hello, okay, what is going on, bro? Staying off a hug. Haha, glad you enjoyed it. Yes, man. Good little video there, man, that you have with the ghost trap. Guys, go ahead and check out Hello K's YouTube channel. And let's play it one more time since Hello K is in the building, right? Yeah, this is really cool. Um, so I imagine now that people know this. That's so like, sick. I was literally gonna say everyone's gonna start buying slimers and uh stay puffs and yeah, 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 yeah. I'm literally on the app right now. <laughs> Again, I never seen tap trades so excited. Okay, guys, so either way, there's the Marty Max Fly giveaway. I am gonna be taking out Swift out of this wheel as well. There you go. I'll take out Swift for a spin again. <laughs> All right, guys, good luck for the Marty McFly hoverboard. The Mo, and there was a Mo. The Mo hit me up on Twitter, all right? That is for the Marty McFly hoverboard. So congratulations, bro. That board right now is going for $70, real easy. One of, one of the probably best collectibles to me on VV right now. All right. Not my favorite, but definitely up there. Hello, K. Do you think Hello Kitty is coming? <laughs> I like that one. Congrats to the Mo. Okay. So, guys, I'll be catching you guys on the next live drop. All right. Um, be responsible. Homie Token is going up. We should be seeing a retracement. Not sure when that is actually going to happen. When is it going to take place? Let me actually uh, share that screen just one more time with you guys because BB is doing some exciting, exciting stuff lately. And we're still seeing a rise, guys. 0 0.004, almost again at the half penny. All right, at the resistant marks, I did put it, the resistant marks right now, guys, at point, half a penny, 0 0.0050, and then at point. 0064. All right. It does remain very, very, very bullish at the time. So let's see how it does. Again, though, guys, this is a nice organic push, which is great. However, it is fomoing. It's just going too fast. So we have too many day traders, flippers on here. And of course, people just buying into investment. As soon as they see it go down, they're going to go ahead and sell. So let's see what happens. Is the ghost trap on Thursday? It seems like it really is on thursday union sanchez but the question remains will there be two drops 
on Thursday, okay? DV has said this before in the past per Dan that they're going to be doing two drops a week. So let's see if they actually maintain that word from now on because last week we saw two drops and hopefully we see two drops again. So let's see what happens, right? But VB's actually doing some great stuff. Thanks for your live chat and much love to everyone. Omar Kosajay, congratulations, bro. Um, give it out whenever, man. What? Oh, oh, you sent me a Robin. Yeah, man, that's a good one to give. So the Robin, I will hold on to it for a next stream for sure, Bruce. Appreciate that. Ghostbusters is an awesome set. Slimer being the first transparent animated VV NFT. And Ghost Trap is the first transparent audible VV NFT. So yes, that is actually pretty cool, guys. Both of those two will be great to have. Glad I could catch this stream. So let me swear, bro. I did add you on the drop. Better luck next time, man. But appreciate you actually enjoying the stream. Well, guys, appreciate all of you guys being on here. Let me read this last comment. Alpha, what are your thoughts on having captures to mitigate against the sniping bots. Let's talk about that actually, right? So what is he talking about? Let me show you guys this video. For people that actually missed this, is this real or is this fake? Are people using bots on VV? It sure seems like it. They are using emulators like Bluestacks. It is against VV's policy to, to do this. And they have click bots as well. Again, guys, it is against policy for people to do this. But let's play this video that I had posted. And where is that video? Oh, I remember where it's at. It was right here in this comment. Okay, so guys, check, check this out. Let me maximize this. Again, guys, if you are looking at this, it looks like this person is at a internet cafe, at a cyber cafe, and he is using emulators actually for this. You see that he has a lot of lab bits on here, right? So you're seeing there that he has a lot of lab bits. So he's using a lot of emulators. And yes, nothing in life is, is fair, right? The fair only comes around once a year, twice a year, depends on your city. That's the only fair. So besides that, guys, he's using emulators. It looks like it is blue stacks. And it's not like he's clicking on every single one of these. He probably has click bots. How do click bots words work? I do not know. But the same way with capture. If you act actually have to input a capture every time you have to buy an NFT, it's going to be horrible for everyone because I suck at captures. And I know you too, or most of you guys do. I hate those things. So if they do integrate captures, then I believe some bots will actually be able to detect it. But so far, guys, it looks like people are actually using emulators and they are using click bots. And yes, nothing in life is fair, but however, it is unethical because it is against VV's policy. So I might try to go ahead and experiment this to see if I'm able to actually get a drop using emulators. And if I do, it's only going to be for YouTube purposes, and I will actually go ahead and send it to VV. If I actually go ahead and go with it, I'm not sure if I'm actually gonna go ahead and do it, guys, to get blue stacks. I'm already running a Mac, so I need to get a PC emulator and then actually get blue stacks on top of that. So I might just play with it, I might not. People are telling me to do it. Some people are telling me not to do it because I might get banned. But if I get banned, it's for a good cause. Hey, at least we found out the truth, right? So let's see what actually happens. But yes, people are actually are doing this and it is out there. So. Uh, what a hooker. No wonder I never get anything. <laughs> Alpha, go to your go to YouTube and type VV clips. He uploaded Textoro. I will check that out later, bro. Um, I don't like playing YouTube videos that I that I'm not familiar with into my channel for copyright reasons. But um, I will go ahead and um check this out. Type VV clips. He uploaded it took it, okay, a tutorial, I think you put. I'll check that out. Swipe over puzzle piece capture will work easy. Maybe that one, right? I hate those two. Click on all the boats. Click on all the trains. Click on the airplanes. I hate those things so much. You can do a test account test. Yeah, we're going to see what's up. So I will be updating you guys on that. Either way, guys, appreciate all of you guys being on the live stream. I will be doing another live stream tomorrow. Most likely about Baby Doge, Dogecoin, the Shiba Inu, and just news on cryptocurrency, guys, because there's so much news right now going on. 
especially with Bitcoin. Bitcoin is king and all the coins will follow Bitcoin at the end of the day. With that said, guys, appreciate all of you guys being on the live stream. And always remember, bro, we have a YouTuber, you have a friend and stay out.